like Earth's favorite blanket. It's a unique layer that covers our planet, where all living organisms, including humans, animals and plants, can survive and interact. So what makes the biosphere so special? It's because of its ability to support life. Just how a blanket keeps you warm, the biosphere provides the right conditions for life to thrive. It offers air to breathe, water to drink, food to eat, and a suitable climate for all living beings to survive. However, imagine if your favorite blanket started to have holes in it. It wouldn't be as warm or comfortable anymore, right? This is similar to what happens when we cut down forests, an act known as deforestation. Deforestation is like poking holes in Earth's blanket. It disrupts the balance of the biosphere, affecting not only the trees, but also the countless species that call the forests their home. This leads us to another term, endangered species. These are animals or plants that are so few in numbers that they might disappear forever. It's like having only a few pieces of your favorite candy left in the world. Once they're gone, you won't be able to enjoy them anymore. That's what extinction means. It's the total disappearance of a species, never to be seen again. The dodo bird, for instance, is an example of an extinct species. Human activities like deforestation, pollution, and overhunting are major reasons why many species are endangered or extinct. But don't worry, there's still hope. This is where conservation comes in. Conservation is like being a superhero for the Earth. It's about protecting and preserving the biosphere and all its inhabitants. It involves actions like planting more trees, reducing pollution, and protecting endangered species. So to summarize, the biosphere is our planetary life support system, a blanket that keeps all of us alive and thriving. Deforestation is a threat to this blanket, causing many species to become endangered or even extinct. But with conservation, we can be Earth's superheroes, protecting the biosphere and preserving our planet's incredible biodiversity. Remember, just as you love your favorite blanket, Earth loves its biosphere. It's up to us to protect it and ensure it stays intact for future generations to enjoy. So, how about we become superheroes for our planet? After all, every superhero's journey begins with a single step. Atmosphere, air, and biosphere, life. Each of these spheres interact with each other, influencing Earth's climate, landforms, and life forms. The biosphere is all about life. It encompasses all regions of the Earth where life exists, from the deepest parts of the ocean to the highest mountains, from the chilliest arctic regions, to the hottest deserts, and everything in between. The biosphere encompasses all forms of life on Earth. This includes not just animals and plants, but also fungi, bacteria, and various other microorganisms that might not be visible to the naked eye. In the desert regions, we have organisms such as cacti and camels, which have adapted to the extremely dry and hot conditions. In the polar regions, polar bears, penguins, and various species of seals thrive in the cold. Forests, which can range from tropical rainforests near the equator to boreal forests closer to the poles, host a diverse array of life, from towering trees and understory plants, to a myriad animals such as monkeys, birds, deer, wolves, and countless insects. The biosphere also spans aquatic regions, both fresh and salt water, Coral reefs, for instance, are teeming with life, from the corals themselves to the numerous species of fish, crustaceans, and other sea life they host. Freshwater ecosystems, like lakes and rivers, 
are home to fish, amphibians, waterfowl, and many other types of invertebrates. The biosphere interacts with the other spheres in numerous ways. Plants grow in soil, which is a part of the geosphere. They take up carbon dioxide, which is a part of the atmosphere, and require water, which is a part of the hydrosphere. Animals breathe in oxygen from the atmosphere and drink water from the hydrosphere. The geosphere and hydrosphere also provide habitats to a great diversity of organisms. The essential interplay between the biosphere and the other spheres is key to sustaining life on Earth. The interdependence of all these spheres illustrates the remarkable balance and interconnectivity of our planet. accumulating in our atmosphere, where it contributes to the greenhouse effect. The atmosphere is a relatively small reservoir of carbon, containing less than 1% of the Earth's total carbon pool. Because it's so small, even a slight increase in inputs to the carbon atmosphere can have a big impact on the total concentration over time. The amount of carbon in terrestrial vegetation is comparable to the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Vegetation takes carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere through photosynthesis. However, the amount that humans continue to add through fossil fuel emissions is more than plants are able to use, so it accumulates in the atmosphere. The CO2 that plants are able to use becomes new plant tissue. Most of the plant tissue winds up naturally dying and falling to the ground to become plant litter and eventually is decomposed or transformed to soil organic matter. In many parts of the world, organic matter accumulates faster than it decomposes, adding to soil carbon pools. Within the soil, there is more than twice as much carbon locked up in organic material than there is carbon in the atmosphere. Human activities such as land use changes and greenhouse gas emissions accelerate the conversion of soil carbon to carbon dioxide. So why is this important? Carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas, which causes heat to be retained between the Earth and the atmosphere. Some radiation leaving the Earth's surface is trapped by greenhouse gases, causing heat to be retained. This happens because CO2 absorbs outgoing infrared radiation and re-emits it in all directions, including back down to the Earth's surface. This leads to increased temperatures in the lower atmosphere, which in turn can increase the rate of decomposition, which further increases the amount of atmospheric carbon. This creates a magnifying cycle of increased warming and increased atmospheric carbon. It's important to understand the overall exchanges of carbon to understand this process.